Yeah, and this is a team that wants to be more direct, more aggressive going forward. That starts with their outside backs of Farfan. At times, their back four will look like a back three with Gallagher on that left-hand side, getting high and wide. Ring comes in next to Pereira. For FC Dallas and Austin, match day 28 is underway as Sebastian Giriussi plays the ball back to goalkeeper Brad Stuver. Here's Marco Farfan. FC Dallas has had have had uh, precious few opportunities to possess the ball and send numbers forward, and they lost possession of the ball. Ariola is going to pick up a yellow card for descent. One of their holding midfielders who's on the ball right now in Pareda with six. Gallagher, their left back, has five. Gallagher is going to overlap Ragoni, who plays it to Ring. Ring turns and shoots, and his attempt at the near post is a routine save for Martin Poss. Big players on, but lost possession of the ball. Jimenez trying to recover it for FC Dallas. But right now, Austin has it. Jimenez fouls Owen Wolf. And Marco Farfan just booked for failing to allow the restart of play. Farfan that comes in, and here's the initial play. Nowhere to go for Owen Wolf. Jimenez doesn't need to make the foul as Farfan's there with the way that both teams are set up. And these are the opportunities that both teams are getting caught in. Here's Velasco, dispossesses Pereira, and absorbs the challenge. Down he goes, yellow card. And I thought that might be a yellow card, and it will be. Yeah, it's Pereira that gets himself in the trouble initially. Has two players around him for FC Dallas, tries to wiggle his way out. And it is Velasco who will take it, and it's just over the top. That one back as he hits it well is dipping. So Austin is on the cusp of hanging on to Copa Tejas for a second year. Here's the kickoff to start the second half. FC Dallas has the longest path. And rather than just serve the first ball in, Austin tries to get the FC Dallas back line moving. Second ball back in by Nick Lima. Headed forward by Hedges and going for the bicycle kick. Okay. Open air 50 minutes into the game off target. Well, you do feel like that's the energy that this game needs. Nowhere near the target, but gives himself the opportunity to try to get on the end of it. Just sees it, and that's a... Ball is back to Poss here. Poss has saved about 74% of shots this year. He is fifth in MLS save percentage, but he's got to save one right now as FC Dallas gave it away. With numbers forward for Austin FC and creating their own troubles. And now Jimenez just lost possession of the ball, and then for FC Dallas, he compounds matters by committing a foul that leads to a free kick, and he also finds his... Can they look for those quick attacks, FC Dallas, once they do the win, win the ball in these positions? Here's Velasco. Diagonal to Ansa. Chest it down. Now has it on his right foot. Ball's tipped away by Brad Stuver. Corner kick coming. Eugene Ansa's shot that's tipped away by Brad Stuver. Well, it's a huge save from Brad Stuver initially. Just gets low, gets himself set, dives the right way, gets the fingertip on it to put that. The League's Cup play and was very close to his third goal since joining FC Dallas. Here's a header by Martinez off the outswinging corner from Velasco, and then it's put back in front of goal. It's punched by Stuver, and then a ball skipping along the turf off the foot of Facundo Quinone. Is this Obreon? I think there are two cards here. The referee had out a yellow card that I thought went to Obreon, but a red that appeared to be shown to an Austin player. There is a lot to sort out here. The game-winning goal that night in the 89th minute, but illness has him unavailable for tonight's game. Ball given away by Austin. Facundo Quinone deflection! Austin's dropped numbers behind the ball. And they do well, and now here's an uh, attack the other way. Yara Mindy is going to have his name taken by the referee for the first time in Major League Soccer. He puts in. Even if they tie this game 0-0, to your point, it hasn't been pretty for either side, but they'll feel like they've come away with a win. Oh, here's Obreon sending a ball in, but it harmlessly is just directed on goal to Brad Stufer. and Velasco having a go at Memo Rodriguez. A driven ball by Dante Seeley, a header by Zardes, a header back across by Paul Ariola. then Eugene Onsa's header. Will Bruin trying to pick a ball up. Oh, this is going to fall for Memo Rodriguez. Rodriguez has a chance to go in now, and great pace by Dante Seeley to recover. Now here's a chance that's deflected and off the crossbar, and then cleared by Tomasi.
last attack of the game right now. Farfan whips it in. Farfan's ball is headed, and it's in at the death. Are you kidding me? FC Dallas has scored. And Kosi Tafari leaves it as late as it can possibly be. A dramatic winner. A stoppage time winner against Austin FC. Well, it's a huge opportunity on the other end for Austin FC. Then it's a heads up play, quick throw in on the other end for FC Dallas. They have runners into the box. And look at that delivery from Velasco. Just puts it on a platter for Tafari, who rises above. And what a turn of events. The one that's ricocheted off the crossbar for Austin FC seconds before, as we're going to hear the final whistle. It is FC Dallas, 1-0 win, and Kosi Tafari.